Here we have the Salamander 151. We've been working on the Salamander for several years now and I think we have it completely dialed in. The thing that I'm most proud of, every single part of this board we've designed from the ground up, from the flex to the shape to the graphic, the bindings that match the board, added every little feature that we think will make the board better. I was able to work with an artist out of Salt Lake City named Mike Murdoch. He's had art published in Thrasher. He's done a lot of skateboards and I have his art hanging all over my house. There's no one really like him. He's got his own style. It's awesome. Then I added some touch onto it where I cut my name out of some steel so there's some different mediums. And then I did a couple little doodles here and there. The concept it was a jumble of what goes on in your head all the time. Mine's always running and I can't turn it off, so I'm kind of crazy and I feel like the graphic's kind of crazy. Yeah, it looks good. Over the years of riding with this board, we played with a lot of different flexes. We came up with this particular flex for this board where under the bindings it's easy to lift up for presses, but it still has rebound. If you're into riding rails and park and just have a fun, playful board, this is, this is the board. This year we changed the shape a little bit. Just added a little bit of a different nose to, to spice it up. One of the other features on this board, we have this no chip tip technology when you run into a rail or you smash it on a rock, it's a dampener that absorbs the impact. It's gonna stand up to some abuse. I designed grip tape basically under the bindings that keeps you from having foot slip on the glossy top sheet so then you don't always have to tighten your bindings. The trigger binding is new. It's got this blaster bushing, which is it's like suspension. It absorbs a lot of the impact and makes for a smoother, more enjoyable experience. Soft, playful high back. It does everything you need it to do and it looks good, which is just as important. I'm definitely lucky with Solomon that they let me design a signature pro model board every year. Very thankful for that opportunity. I want to make it the best I can. I can honestly say it's a product I'm proud of.